Hey guys, what's up? Ranza here again. I'm here by the Miatani Bridge. I just want to share something with you guys and talk about it a little bit that happened to me this morning. I was at a lodging. I'm in the mountains in Japan. Anyways, in the morning I was heading out uh, with my luggage back to the car and um, I saw these kids. I saw my luggage walking through and the boy and I believe his sister and his mom was there as well. They were playing, right? So the kids were playing. His mom was there as well with them. And I was walking. The guy turned around and saw me dude ran to his mom frantically um screaming kawaii and grabbed his mom with his face pressed into her thighs and he was like kawaii like he saw the most horrifying thing in his life and i was like man wow uh, i gotta say man it caught me off guard in that moment what happened to me was every instance of an occurrence like that that happened to me before came flooding into my mind and i remembered in that moment I think maybe two or three other occurrences where something similar happened to me in Japan as well. Once I was in the elevator, um, a little boy saw me, you know, like, um, and then, well, this one was a bit milder, right? He pulled the sunshade on his stroller over to cover his face without breaking eye contact. That was kind of funny. Then the second one was this baby saw me and the baby was like screaming, like screaming, like, like bawling, right? Um... And there was a, another time where a little girl saw me and she was mixed actually. So she saw me at this play spot where I, I was with my daughter and the little girl saw me and she was like, kawaii, same thing, kawaii meaning scary, and I ran to her dad. Her dad was a Indian guy and he took her up. He never said anything to her and he left, right? Today when the kid did that, his mother said something really faintly. I never heard what she said. I went to the car. And some of you guys may also recall the video I did with the Asian guy. And you guys remember what he said to me, that, you know, like someone taught him that, a specific thing about black people. And I, I'm wondering to myself, like, how did this happen? Like, is it that because they don't see black people at all or enough black people, why they respond in that manner? Is it that their parents teaches them something? Is it something that they saw in the media? Is it the anime depiction of black people? I'm trying to wrap my mind around how this response um, came, came into being. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to wrap my mind around what is a catalyst for such a response. I understand I have a daughter as well, a five-year-old daughter. Um, I understand kids right but the thing is everything that my daughter is afraid of she learned it uh bugs for instance it's my wife's response to bugs snakes it's my response to snakes so when she sees snakes she responds a certain way because of how i responded to the snakes when me and her encountered them while we're hiking and me working out by the river and i think i heard something before where someone said kids only like babies only have two fears um, like you're born with two fears, I believe. One is uh, a falling and the next one I believe is a f But most of the fears that we have now, we learned them. Whether through first-hand experiences or someone else relaying something to us. And I was grappling with the question of how did this little boy, maybe four years old, right? what happened why would he respond like that i'm like okay i understand that you may never have seen a black person before but why would you run in terror just because you've never seen something before your immediate response is one of terror fear it doesn't feel good when it, when it happens of course it's kids right so you're thinking about someone that's innocent innocence is terrified of you uh, they don't know who you are, uh, they, don't, they don't know your demeanor, they don't know your personality, they don't know the type of person that you are. But the response, regardless of, of what the fact is, I'm trying to wrap my mind around the reality. So that's my goal with this video, to open a discussion, um, to really understand how certain characteristics or traits or actions, mindset are perpetuated. Is it through nurture or is it nature i'm starting to think that it might be more so nurture i understand that kids you know like for instance for instance my daughter we were in um we were in uh nagoya recently and there was an old japanese lady and she wanted to like like she was reaching for my daughter 
she was reaching for my daughter. My daughter was like turning her back, right? My daughter is five. She was kind of like, um, and I understand responses like that. Sometimes kids don't want to talk to someone. Sometimes kids, you know, they're annoyed. You know, kids have all these emotions. Uh, but I'm just thinking about me being different and all the experiences I've had where kids responded to me in a certain way. Not all the time, of course not. Uh, I've been to my daughter's school and sometimes the kids run out to me and they're happy, they're ecstatic. They're saying, Tiffany Papa, right? But on the flip side, it feels horrible when innocents respond to you in a certain way. So I'm trying, I'm grappling with, maybe it's, it's a non-issue, maybe, I don't know. But it caught me off guard today and I felt like I wanted to do a video about it because every time it happens to me, it doesn't feel good. Right? It's not, if it's a person, it's whatever, they're an adult, you're like, okay, you deal with it, whatever. But a child, that young, what do you guys think? Yeah, let's have a discussion in the comment section down below. Have you experienced something like this before? How many times? How do you handle it? What do you think is the reason for this? Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye for now.